And if you've always wanted to scatter realistic trash across your viewport, which would probably add a little bit of photorealism to that amazing scene of yours, then the trash kit from the Folksat Asset Kit is right here for you. This comes with over 700 single assets which you can combine to get amazing trash and a good number of collections that would just simply make that super easy for you. At the same time, the trash kit can also work alongside with the geoscatter previously known as scatter and you can use this to scatter trash across your viewport. The Folksat Asset Kit also have a good number of assets that you can check out, so just in case you're looking for more asset link to this is also going to be in the description so do well to check it out now for you to get started with this all you need to do is come through grab it and then you can simply fire up blender now with blender simply open right here once you download it you need to go over to edit go over to preference and then go over to the file part and add this to your file part and this will be available with the asset browser now some things to keep in mind is once you purchase the add-on and unzip it this comes with a couple of things the first one is an environment file which is one that you can use to play around and then you do have the trash kit and finally we have the scatter pack this is the one that you would use alongside the geo scatter to scatter the trash that you want across your viewport so it's pretty interesting what this actually does now let's explore the trash kit and actually see what we have so if we simply open this up we minimize that and we have this actually let's start exploring them from here you would notice that we have some cigarette stuff let's bounce this back and you also notice that we have a couple of trash you can also see we have some more dry leaf trash we have some grasses we have some bottles lots of them you can see how realistic these things look some newspapers some pizza boxes some pizza boxes, some pizza, you can see that, some scrambled paper, we have some slippers here and there, we also have some fruit, you can also see we have some cans, you know, some of these lovely cans that you might want, these are crazy stuff, some trash bags are also cool, all of these metallic drums, you can also see we have some plastic drums here, we have some tires, very good tires, we have some tire wheels as well, very rusty tire wheels, and for those looking for cartons, we have lots of cartons going on here there are lots of them like from here we can see the very clean one we have the medium dirty one and then we have the extreme dirty one so depending on what you want you get to find some stuff here are some trash cans as well we have some more trash cans going on here and we have some crates we also have some more going on here so these are some very high quality stuff and for those who are also thinking about uvs these are all uv right so they are all uv so if you want to take off the uvs those are now totally up to you how you can work with this is super easy let's grab a brand new scene and then if you're thinking about just simply scattering this across your viewport by hand is with the asset browser so because we've already added this to the asset browser we can go over to the asset browser click here go all the way down to trash kit blender so within the trash kit blender you can start dragging any of this asset however you want so you can choose to select from a long list of assets that exist here if you're looking for like bundled ones you can use them if you're looking for individual ones you can bring them out however you choose to design your trash is totally up to you but for sure you do have amazing trash that you can use to beautify and enhance the realism of the scene that you're building and this is one way that you can actually use this in blender the other way that you can use it which is also very interesting is appending the collection and how we can append it is as easy as going over to file go all the way to append and append it or you remember the blender file that we just looked at earlier of course we can simply click drag and drop it in the viewport and click on append and once we click on append we can now go over to collections and within collections we can scroll all the way down and go to trash kit plus geometry nodes so once you click and select that click on append and that would automatically append the entire collection now we don't want to work with all of these things that exist within the viewport what we want to do is to select everything and turn it off hold on shift tap a on the keyboard go all the way to a single plane make sure you have that and you can go to the modifier click on the drop down add the geometry nodes and now if you click on this drop down right here you notice we have the trash kit geometry nodes and that is all you need so the next thing which you might want to do is to switch over so that you will be able to see what you're doing at this point you know scattering things is easy like it's it's as easy as switching over to the edit mode selecting the edge selecting any part and once you start stretching this out you start stretching trash out and that is also how cool this is actually let's just go all the way back to, then we can proceed to just do a control r and add a single loop somewhere here have that selection tap e on the keyboard 
and we can also push our trash all the way to this point. So once you start extruding parts of your model, the trash starts extruding out. And the beautiful thing is we're working with geometry nodes, which means that you have all of the necessary rooms that you need to actually make changes. So we can just proceed to push this all the way out as well. And we have trash scattered everywhere. I mean, think about how much time this will take you to place this in by hand and how much time it will even take you to create these things yourself. This is just super cool. So we can now switch and take a look at this. So I'm just going to switch over to cycles because, you know, we don't want to spend so much time doing the whole shading calculation. So we will switch this to GPU and turn on the noise and hit render and see what we have. So next thing which I will do is just simply bring this light a little bit closer. So let's just grab that light, bring it right here, go over to the light, switch this light to area light, and we would go all the way down and set the light to be even more. So I would like to get this to be 10 by 10. That looks cool. So at this point, you can see all of the high quality stuff that we have going on here. Now, at any point in time, you'd like to make changes to this. You can go over to the geometry nodes and you can start making changes within the parameters. So from this section, let's actually drag this out. From this section, you would notice that we do have the base trash. You can choose to increase the base trash if you want, and you can see that that's a lot of trash. And if you would like to play with the seed, you can literally just go ahead and play with the seed and get some very interesting stuff. Let's switch this all the way back because I think it's gonna be faster. So in this case, you can play with the seed, get something very cool. And once you're ready, hit the render button to get that going. You can also play with the scatter density so we can have little, so much, little, so much. If we go all the way down and we'll like to play with the viewport visibility, we can also do the same thing, drop that down, increase that. We can also choose to hide the mesh if we want. So you might have like a base mesh that you can use to drive the entire scatter, but then you want the underlining mesh, which is like the principal mesh to be visible. You don't want the one which you used in scattering this to be visible. And this is also something that you can do. So depending on what you want to get, you can have fun working with them. You want to add some tires, you want to remove them. You want to add some extra barrels, remove the barrels. You have all of this stuff going for you and you can have fun working with it. So. This is more like it. For those who like to take a look at this, probably you like to explore with it. You want to start adding, creating and manipulating some trash in your scene to get that high quality realistic scene going for you with high quality assets as well, like the ones that we have here. And you want some high quality variations, then the trash kit is something that you should consider checking out. And of course, link to this is going to be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.